Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I'm going to show an example of how to use the string replace operator. So we can use the string replace operator to update file paths before an ASS file or an ABC file, Alembic file is loaded. So for example, at render time, you want to replace a proxy model with uh, the full Alembic file. You can easily do that with a string replace operator. So there's this written tutorial and there's also a scene file if you want to follow along. So let's start off first by creating an Arnold Alembic. Drag in the viewport. And then we need to open the proxy model, a proxy Alembic file. And if we just go down to the bottom here, we can change the boundary box to wireframe. So now we want to replace this with the, with the high res Alembic file. So we can use a operator to do that. So we go to Arnold operator graph and then type in string, string replace and you want to make sure that you set it to set as target operator and then we've got the selection match and replace fields I'm just going to copy the um, copy it from the tutorial here so just copy it, paste it into the selection so basically selecting all the Limblick procedural nodes and we need to match any file name that ends with proxy.abc file and replace it with the high resolution Alembic file that we have saved to disk. So I'm just going to add a utility sign as a utility shader to the to the model so we can view the polywire mode. So if you set the overlay mode to wire, I need to use a mapped material to assign it to the model. Now if we render with Arnold. You can see that max to a is rendering the high resolution model, but the viewport is using the low poly cage. And let's just open up the Arnold render view just to make it a bit clearer. So yeah, you can see if we start the render, the low poly model in the viewport and the high poly Olympic file in the render view. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.